Hi there. In this video, we're going to walk through the steps for creating a CLI-driven workspace in Terraform Cloud. To follow along with this demo, you'll need to have Terraform installed on your machine, and you'll need an active Terraform Cloud organization where you're able to create workspaces. So let's talk about the CLI-driven workflow a little bit. What it does is it allows the best of both worlds when it comes to using Terraform at the command line interface, which you may already be familiar with, and Terraform Cloud's workflows and state management. And since it can be command line driven, it can also be used in any existing CI-CD pipelines. So let's get started. In Terraform Cloud, under Workspaces, go to New Workspace. On the Create a New Workspace page, select the CLI Driven Workflow option. Next, choose a name for the workspace. I'm going to call this one CLI Workspace. Optionally, you can add a description as well. When this is complete, click on Create Workspace. Now I have a new workspace that is waiting for a configuration. If you are already familiar with version control workspaces, CLI-driven workspaces work a little bit differently. Like their name implies, they are driven from the command line. So there is no Terraform code in a source code repository that this workspace will work off of. We will need to run our Terraform configuration from the command line. To do that, we have a few steps we need to complete which are laid out here under the Overview tab. For step one, I need to authenticate to Terraform Cloud from the command line. If you've done this already, you can skip this step. If not, you will need to run the Terraform login command from the command line. So let's go to a terminal. In the terminal, run the command Terraform login. A message will come up mentioning that Terraform will open a new browser window where we will generate a new token which will be used to authenticate with Terraform Cloud. To proceed, only an answer of yes, Y-E-S, will continue. So type in yes and hit enter. The create API token window will pop up. Give this token a meaningful description so you'll be able to reference it later. Then click Create API Token. Now the new API token will be displayed. Copy that token to the clipboard, and if needed, save it to a key vault or password manager, since this will be the only time you'll be able to view this. Go back to the terminal and paste in the key. Please note that you won't see any characters or dots here, so make sure you don't end up accidentally double pasting. Now hit Enter. Now that a new token has been applied, let's go back to the workspace overview page. For step two, we need to add a code block to a Terraform configuration, which will link the configuration back to this workspace. I've given the example code here, which is what we're gonna use. Go ahead and copy the example code to the clipboard. Now I've already created a folder called CLI workspace with two Terraform files. So first, I'm going to open up versions.tf so I can add the example code block. All right, let's take a look at what this code block is doing. Notice that it doesn't do any authentication. We did that already by creating the API token, which is now stored locally on this machine. Within the Terraform block, we have a cloud block. This code block will specify the organization that I'm targeting, as well as what workspace to use. Now make sure to save versions.tf. And if we take a quick look at my main.tf, all I'm running is a null resource that's going to echo test config. So it's nothing crazy. Now from the folder where the Terraform files are stored, let's run a Terraform init to initialize the configuration. You will see a difference when initializing a configuration with a cloud backend. Instead of saying Terraform has successfully initialized, it will say Terraform Cloud has been initialized. That's how you can tell that everything is working correctly together. All right, now let's run a Terraform plan. Once the plan completes, scroll up to the top of the plan output. 
you should see a URL for the remote run. Let's control click on that and check it out. The link will take us to the plan we just triggered from the command line. This, however, is a speculative plan, meaning that an apply cannot be run from this. You'll also notice that if I go to runs for this workspace, there are none listed and it's still waiting for a configuration. Speculative plans can't be used to apply a configuration and they can only be accessed by browsing to the link in the plan output. And if I go back to the speculative plan and scroll down, you can see the same output here as you can at your local terminal. All right, let's go ahead and run an apply from the terminal. Now you still have to type yes to confirm here, but before I do that, I'm gonna click on the link for the plan. Now, instead of this being a speculative plan, you can see that it was triggered as an actual run. This means I could come all the way to the bottom and apply this configuration right from here. And if I click on runs again, I can see the completed plan in here. All right, so let's go back to the terminal and type yes to proceed with the apply. And when I switch back to the plan in Terraform Cloud, I should see that the apply has finished. So that was a quick introduction to CLI-driven workspaces in Terraform Cloud. From here, you could go on to wire up some automation in a pipeline to kick off Terraform runs, while also maintaining your state in Terraform Cloud, and many more things. So check it out. Thanks for watching.